Hello everyone, Rose Tan here, welcome. Today's topic, we're going to focus on money and career. It is a pick a card reading for those who are new to my channel. You simply use your intuition, see what you are drawn to, and all you gotta do is take your time and pick pile one, two or three, sometimes two or even all three, depends on what you are drawn to. And today's topic will be money and career, if I did not mention that. So my readings are usually untimed, so whenever you actually tune into this video is your divine timing. Bear in mind, this is a personal general reading, but me and my guides would try to keep it detailed and specific as possible. And when spirit messages come through, they can come through in water, like heavy flows, so <laughs> heavy flows. So anyways, let's dive into it. I will leave the timestamps in the description box down below. Take your time, meditate on which pound group suits you as according to your intuition, whatever you are drawn to. And let's get start. All right. Okay, for those who actually chosen power group number one, which is the lovely, beautiful Chrysocolla here, one of my absolutely favorite ones because it actually focuses on the throat and the heart chakras. It is very an intuitive, divine energies. It has a lot of compassion, communication, it improves that. It actually works well with your psychic vision as well as love. There's, there's a lot. I'm just going through the actual list here because it covers a lot here. Um, you know, tranquility, peace, subconscious wisdom, intuition, patience. It helps with um, nurturance. It helps for acceptance, tolerance. It, the list goes on, sensitivity, honest, and hope. So good on you, power one, for group number one. So let's get straight into money and career and see what comes through for you. Group number one, let's take a look. Let's see what we got, all right. Ooh, you got the Muse card. I hope this is actually focusing. Okay, take time away from daily hustle. Give yourself quiet time in nature to muse. Create space for your creativity and fresh ideas will flow. So what I'm getting there, some of you need to take some downtime before you can actually feel the inspiration or ideas, creatives and um, you know, thought process to actually be in more fine tune. Because when you're out of balance or out of alignment with your own self, your head and heart is in misalignment. They won't agree, and this is when you get the writer's block, you will feel blocked and, and challenged to find inspiration and ideas. It can, I mean, it's, it's funny how you actually chosen this as well, because it can help with your heart, and heart is the first thing that is developed in the mother's womb right it's the first brain it's your brain there and it can actually help you to find the love within you and because love is you know passion that's where love comes from right if you don't love what you, what you do then there's gonna be a problem it's gonna be a few hiccups okay next one we have king of air so what I've been shown here uh, look ugh, I'll just read it out and then I'll put it into layman terms for you guys. So you got brilliant and partial, professional diplomatic, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional consideration. So there, look, when you actually take this time out or even look, if, if you can't afford some time out, I'm pretty sure you can spend some five, five, find five to 10 minutes of your time and just, you know, recuperate, recuperate, if I said that right, and just relax, like find, like find yourself in a place where you need to recharge, but with the right advice. Whatever advice you're actually getting, 
make sure you consider your emotional self okay what i mean by that you got to keep it in balance your emotion and mental imbalance okay um further to that when you seek advice from others it's almost like mirror right if you're not asking the right quality questions then you're not going to get the right quality answers it's not going to help you to improve what it is that you're trying to seek or trying to work on whatever project there you go chris Akola, group par one i'm a little bit concerned this is really calling out for some of you to really come apart it's like pull yourself apart maybe you know um i'm, I'm just being shown that you gotta um dissect you gotta digest each segments otherwise you can't eat that whole elephant you can't have that whole elephant you know um a, a close dear friend of mine says that asked me once when i was actually so much pressure onto myself he says how do you eat the whole elephant and I go, I don't know. And he goes, one chunk at a time. One bite at a time. I'm thinking, oh yeah. It makes sense. Makes sense. So you can't go on time warp speed and expect results to happen. Okay? That's it's not gonna happen. And as much as you would want this glory, you know, you want the success and fame and fortune, it's not gonna come unless you pull yourself apart and I don't mean that in such a barbaric way what I mean by that is that you just got to own and acknowledge what's been going on what's been keeping you delayed or what's making you procrastinate you know I mean look some of you are feeling that um, is this the right team is it the right um, people is, is this the right environment you got to you got to digress and really look from within because if you're not going to look from within and you know i mean come apart can mean a, a lot it can mean that you just need to take that time out and find what resonates and what makes sense to you not necessarily what others think sure you can have coaches and mentors but at the end of the day you got to do what what feels right and what makes sense to you Okay, because if you're not vibing with your own self, then there is there is no glory and or success here. Triumph and you know, it just says that when you wear the crown, you need to be ready for it. You know, and all this muse coming apart, that's all you in preparation. Okay. And then we got nine of wands and nine of wands says perseverance sorry perseverance resilience testing of faith the final push boundaries last stand grit close to success and fatigue ouch fatigue you don't want that okay that's just um clarifying what we just so let me just continue on and see what else comes through for you um, okay oh okay so is this a partnership is this like a business you know a business partner here because it says here that when you're when you're having a genuine sincere relationship professional working relationship oh, oh some of you may actually feel like there is a slight romance there a little bit office flirtation oh i'm seeing there may be an affair here an office romance perhaps for some of you oh i won't get into the romance part here because oh, i mean you can't really compare it really i mean if if love and rope romance enters your money and career reading then you know just got to go with it but uh sincere relationships i'm drawn towards when you don't feel that that your business partner your potential business partner is making sense to you or you're not making sense to to them 
you can butt heads and that's the last thing you want okay because everything evolves around the vibration and if you guys are not speaking the same language then there won't be a, a prosperous successful business hustle or project that you are working on okay okay moving on i just want to move towards this deck of cards here and see what else comes through for you So, oh, I went flying. Oh, you got the moth. Interesting. So, the moth here, in this situation, what I've been drawn to actually share here, the moth can be like, you know, you're, you're too hasty. You're too rushing towards that limelight. The, the success, the golden crown, you know, you want that glory. You want that fame, fortune, you want the money. Just know the bag is coming. You, but you just got to make sure that you are prepared for this success. Whatever success it is. I mean, this is really, really exciting, guys. But um, when you get too close to the light, you may get burnt because some of you may not be prepared. But I'm also seeing that some of the people that works with you or work for you, perhaps, or even your business partner, they may find you intimidating. They may find you, um, you know, that you're, that you're the strong potential and capable one that can actually make headways and makes them feel less insignificant. They may feel envious or jealous for what you actually got going, you know, because you've got so much um, in your tool belt. You're quite more than capable you know, handling your, your, yourself. So that could be something that I feel like, you know, you are attracting the moths because you're becoming this radiant self after you do all this healing, after you, you know, come back to, to yourself, all right? Work on the relationship with yourself, including the relationship that um, whoever's in your business team or surroundings, community network and such, all right? Okay, let's see. Let me just get one more card perhaps and see what comes through. Um, I hope I didn't leave my decks out. Let me see what comes through for you, okay? Alright, here we go. So we got oh we got sophia the divine wisdom this is so cute what did i say about this crystal hey chrysocola because it says um you know it says subconscious wisdom divine wisdom goodness and 47 you know 47 is i just feel like that even the age of someone being 47 they're in their prime time when it comes to being so majorly successful like they're they're so like they're ready for even retirement because they got so much glory they have so much success because they have become they're you know the king of air they can actually rest on their throne now they can sit back and watch all their fruits of labor harvest it and come to them you know because they can actually leave the business and trust their trust the trust the people that they hired so I'm seeing the fruits of your labor, you know, it's going to reap so much success and bountiful prosperity and such. Look at you. There's so much fulfillment coming through. You just got to make sure that you are the muse yourself. Take some time out. Okay. Um, I'm just being drawn to get one more deck of use one more deck of cards and see what comes through i'm just seeing for those who are actually working as an employee for a company i feel like oh i feel like you're someone's jumping someone's jumping ships here oh wow oh look at this wizard of awareness which is represents divine wisdom again and then looks at that leaps of joy peaks of joy so yes 
there you go that's your answer if you, if some of you have been contemplating whether to leave your current uh, work situation or your workplace please do consider because your spirit guides has been encouraging you to take a leap of faith and then they're going to feed you feed you necessary divine wisdom in, in increments in gradual pace okay so I see that for those who are actually the entrepreneur, the entrepreneur business savvy types, I see that the relationship with you, you need to work on. I mean, we all do, right? But they're saying you need to take some time out for yourself and really meditate. Um, journal it. Because when you put your thoughts out to paper, you feel a lot more lighter and I feel that can work wonders for you. So you can have those creative, inspiring ideas that, that, that feeds you from your source, from your intuition, from your higher self. And that's when things will just flow. Things will flow so nicely because look, Goddess Sophia will come in and she's going to help you to get these creative ideas and problem solve whatever it is and it can be problem solving with the relationship with your business partner perhaps if things were a little bit rough a little bit rocky uh, you're butting heads whatever the challenges and struggles that you are going through just know that things will actually be a lot more better it won't be better if you don't look after yourself first so you can't show up you know uh, to your business partner or to your boss when your cup is half full okay all right so that is what we have for you group number one i hope that was insightful and helpful leave me any comments or any questions that you have in the comments down below and i shall see you next time Mwah. bye all right, take two, pile group number two is chosen the pyrite. And for group two, I had to like stop and rewind and redo the reading, not once, but twice. Goodness, lucky two, hey? Oh my God, anyways, okay, so back to the reading here. Your money, wealth, finances, and career. For those who chosen the lovely crystal pyrite, it's all about the actually it's actually associated with the leo energy about ambition um it's about material gains as well but it can actually associate with the third chakra so it can help with uh, protection it actually helps with um you know gaining that fortune wealth and prosperity in your life and it's actually healing and i would and i, and I would say because you know it, it just represents so much look at that glisten 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 <laughs> you know it represents a lot of um glamour uh, about a, about boldness and strength it's a lot about divine wisdom as well all right so since i did the reading not once but twice this is the take three now and i hope it doesn't cut off on me here okay so the first card we had for you is the lovers so could this be an office romance like i'm seeing you know um it could be an office affair it could be you know whatever the actual relationship is going through like i see some of you are even married to your work your work you know means it's your baby you know and you know kudos to you that is beautiful because you have you feel like there you 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 add so much value right and people come to you you are their resource all right and you wear multiple hats people tend to you because you are multi vast like you have so much to offer and give and yeah anyway moving on um eight of earth so it says skilled work is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic going back to school so you're always thirsty okay you're like a you, you're like you're like a sponge you just love to train you love to learn but you also wanting to uplift others and do what it is i feel like a lot of you are leos here who've actually chosen number two here for a reason because you're so masterful the magician here you're so masterful at what it is that you do you got so much uh you know um skills and experience 
in your lifetime here um but you're very young in your energies because i'm seeing here there's like you dressed to the nines here because you've got you know look at this the goddess of fortune lakshmi Laksh lakshmi okay that's the goddess and i see you you know it's look you dress to the nines because look two and seven you dress to the nines and you know you walk in like you you know some of you actually ceos or even corporate <laughs> owners here or you know multi owners of many businesses entrepreneurs you know many side hustles and you know how to strategize you know how to work time well you know how to deal with people you know how to work with people people look up to you a lot okay and um they feel like you can work wonders you can make, actually make magic happen with this magician card okay because look you've got the uh, temperance and it says here balance harmony healing patience self-control moderation purpose peace calm tranquility and serenity all right so look just i mean just look at that see how you're actually giving your your energy out like your resources and your time and, and energy and, and and but it's like you also get that in return because what you give out so freely and so wholeheartedly with so much passion you know the universe gives you back tenfold so that's just an example here but that's just a metaphor but look learning you know you are kind of like in your inner child because you find that learning fascinates you right learning but then look at this you got the stillness card here with goddess uh yukmi ona and she represents you just gotta sometimes stop what it is that you're doing otherwise you will burn yourself out that's the last thing you want because you have the wolf wow and I'm seeing um, the wolf of Wall Street here. You are a lone wolf. That's why you're married to your work here. You find yourself always the last person to leave the office. Uh, you're, you're the first one there, perhaps. You're always eating at your desk. You have very little social life, but you're working on that now, which is good because I see you coming to a place where people are going to encourage you to have some sort of social life. It could be your office lover here that's going to give you more of a work-life balance. Um, but I feel like your strength as well is that you encourage and inspire others to, um, you know, to be their best version of themselves because you found your rhythm you know because i see you kind of like walk to the beat of your own drum you dance to the beat of your own drum and you know how to it's, it's like you found your essence and your place is at this workplace whatever it is that you own or that you work for you find so much abundance and joy you find you find so much fulfillment where it just um it's almost like you feed it and they and they feed you it's like you just love it it's like that's your place and you feel very confident you know and some people can actually find you intimidating or threaten but i don't see them kind of like dishing out on you in any disrespect whatsoever so that's a good thing like your reading i mean look I, i'm doing this like three takes now so i'm a little bit dry i'm trying to throw so excuse me so this is also a sign that some of you need to take some break stillness you know take some replenishing time out take yourself out to more of those beauty salons um because when you don't do that then i mean this is what temperance is all about balance isn't it you need that work life otherwise you know you're going to wear yourself out thin even though that you love it so much whatever that that, that you do you love what you do but there needs to be a balance okay so i see you kind of like unlearning or undoing all those you know 
crazy hectic hours and jamming so, so much information in and out uh, i just feel like the people around you are going going to support you so your reading is absolutely beautiful um i don't think there's actually anything else to add but um you know you're you're such you know you you walk like a badass and people admire you because you know you have so much light and radiance with how you actually hold yourself up and it's very very beautiful like you like you can't stop it you can't help it because you have so much to give because you have that divine wisdom right the divine wisdom you got the strength you got the confidence, you got the willpower, and you're also protected from your spirit guides here. And the wolf can also represent that's your actual animal totem as well. That the wolf's energy comes and you kind of like work in packs, but these packs are all versions of yourself. Okay? So, whew, that's a lot. So I will end it there. Group number two, I hope you find that very helpful and enlightening and inspiring, even though they are that you don't need inspiring because you rather give inspiration to others. <laughs> All right, darlings, up until next time. Mwah. Ciao. Welcome group number three. Whoever has actually chosen the beautiful Lapis Lazuli. I love the sound of that name rolling off my tongue. This stone represents all about self-awareness, wealth, prosperity. It's about healing, also protection, but it's also with the third chakra. So it helps for communication, awareness, connection with others. Uh, what else does it say here? Enhanced dreams. And it's very strong in connecting with your spiritual self, okay? With your intuition, with your higher self, with source as well. So whoever chosen uh, that is um, very tapped in and tuned in. All right, Spirit, what do we have for group number three for their money, wealth, career, purpose, um, mission, calling? What are their messages for their money and career? All right, let's see what comes through. Oh, look at that. What did I say? You got the duck card here. So here it says clarity, self-expression, um, and balance, okay? So some of you, I'm actually picking up strong energies of you clearing out or, you know, unblocking your throat chakra here. Um, but it could be also that you find it uh, restrictive or a little bit nervous or a little bit of apprehensive when it comes to you expressing yourself. Self-expression. I mean, this, there's a reason why you actually chosen Lapis Lazuli, Lazuli because of that. You need extra aid there. So is it your boss? Is it the people that you work with? Are they... Do, do you find them challenging to, you know, connect with and, and work together with? Because not all of us get along with everyone. I mean, that's just the nature of, you know, going into a company. Okay, so some of you need to actually work on that, on how to actually express your ideas, your thoughts throughout meetings. You feel like, some of you I just picked up, like, you don't feel heard, you know, yeah, you, you don't feel like your your thoughts and your ideas and plans are appreciated. Some of you don't even feel acknowledged. So speak up is what they're saying and don't worry about what they think. So long as you put that into practice, okay? Because um, that's going to keep you in balance and you're going to feel a lot more belonged. Some of you may not feel like you have a place there, like you don't feel respected in some sense. Um, just know that you're, you're transitioning out, okay? There's a breakthrough coming, which is good. It's just that it may require time for you to just, um, you know, get out of your own way and speak up no matter how silly you may sound because that's just your inner critic, you know, keeping you safe. Okay, and our ego is just like a two, three-year-old child trying to keep us safe because it, it's always going to be scared of something, right? No, my hair is very... Okay, it's really late at night because I had to do like three takes for group number two because during this Mercury retrograde, 
the camera didn't actually well my phone didn't re re didn't record <laughs> all right so group number three lapis lazuli i'm feeling like you're you're really really healing your throat chakra thank goodness because i feel like that was really keeping and holding you back wasn't it not a good feeling okay you got the buffalo energy here and what this may actually tell us is that look this may resonate and relate to some of you here only um you know you feel like you put in the hard yards you put in long hours you're not getting what you deserve you don't feel like you are valued right you don't feel like um you, you even find yourself in comparison with other co-workers with your peers and you feel like you're undervalued even some of you feeling like offers bullying here there's quite some toxic um e energies but these are karmic as well for some reason but karmic like what goes around comes around right and i'm, I'm seeing that with tables they turn i'm seeing like you're being betrayed or you may actually find yourself in that um you know devious way and then you feel like you kind of like snap out of it and then it actually happened back to you on on you that's how karma works you just don't, don't know when it's going to come back and haunt and bite you up the butt but yeah i feel like you kind of learned that but you feel like that's just your karmic debt and i feel like that's coming back at you and now you kind of like um you have to experience that out now and look at this People now see you as a king of air. I hope that's focusing. So basically, you've become known and perceived as brilliant, impartial, professional, and diplomatic. So people see you as the office, um, I don't know, like the HR, that people go there and just kind of like, uh, not launder, but they actually like to share their personal pains or you know their weekend troubles with their boyfriend or girlfriend or spouse. <laughs> And you feel like you always have that lending good ear, like you, you, you know how to talk to people because you're very, you know, impartial, you're very diplomatic. And it says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, like I just said. Um, you know, so people seek your advice here. And you've got balance mental and, balance mental and emotional consideration. So it's that, you know, you're basically um, finding this, co this common ground. Like, do you feel like you give out more than you should? You're playing the role of a therapist here in the dynamics of the office environment. And you're not getting paid for it and you're, you're hating it. I'm seeing like you're putting your fist down to the table here, quite rough and you demand you're demanding for a change so good on you you're speaking up thank goodness and i would highly recommend and suggest please please i would encourage you find a crystal that you know that helps you heal that throat chakra of yours okay all right next we got diversify what did i say all right so here it says build the no like trust factor with your audience be ambiguous in your niche by sharing your content on diverse platforms so in this situation what i'm being shown here if those who actually find it um, challenging to get their message out or across um, they're saying try out different ways try out different platforms different social media you know there's so much out there you just got to um, do your research connect with people and see what works you just never know you know because um, I never enjoyed Facebook so <laughs> <laughs> not 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 to put facebook down or or any house i just felt like I, I think i was just at the wrong time at the wrong place and it just didn't vibe well so that's why i kind of like jumped ship and, I, and i'm i'm just giving it a, a break now because i feel like it did not like my energy perhaps we just didn't vibe off well okay so that's what i'm saying if something doesn't work you know try something new okay you don't need to remain stuck or stagnate stagnated okay all right let's see what else comes through for group number three i'm seeing a breakthrough here which is really nice here we go 
Oh my God. There's a reason why. Group number three, look at that. Oh. So it says longing for home, homesick for the stars. Oh wow, some of you are very much like me. Very different. Like you came from the fifth dimension, the fifth realm. You don't feel like you belong here. Like people don't get you possibly. This is why, this is why you feel misunderstood, unheard, disrespected perhaps. And you feel like you can't take it anymore. You cannot continue on staying in the place that you are. You may decide to actually, you know, consider elsewhere another different employment or go out and, uh, you know, strike it out on your own perhaps that can be exciting and look i just feel like when you speak your mind you're going to get yourself far okay because if you don't speak up it's like if you don't ask for something that you want then you won't get it it's that simple isn't it so sometimes getting out of your way is so vital because it actually helps you to transition from your lower self. Your ego will always say, no, don't say that. They're going to judge you or they're going to, you know, think that you're stupid. But no, when you get out of your way, that's when growth happens and magic happens. Okay. Oh, look at that. You've got the moon in reverse as I said that. Okay. So it says release of fear, secrets revealed, truth exposed, dreams, repressed emotions, clarity, understanding. <sighs> So this just all ties to what we just, um, you know, mentioned at the beginning. Sorry, just now. And then look, when you do that, when you do all this work by releasing and doing all this healing of your throat chakra, because it's blocked now, and as you get out of your own way and, and you know, just expressing yourself, you know, as a duck should be, you know, quack, 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 quack. You know, look at this. You got nine of pentacles. Can this reading be any beautiful? Abundance, luxury, self-sufficiency, self-worth, financial independence, leisure, rewarded efforts, success and achievements. You might strike it out on your own here. King of air. There's only one king, right? You may step out of that into your power, into your own weirdness, into your, your, I don't know, strange, quirky ways. And that's where you find your voice. Because I can relate in so many ways here. When I found my voice, I felt like no one's going to understand what, what it is that I'm trying to convey. No one actually understands what I'm trying to put out. And it may not make sense. I may not connect with some people. But I've given up that. Ugh. At first, I, I felt like I'm not connecting with the tribal people that I want. It's not working out. Um, you know. But the good thing about that is that you shouldn't give up you should never give up just because you are so different just because you feel like an alien on this planet does not mean that you don't belong you make your home anywhere you choose to in this third dimensional realm that we're in in this lifetime okay in this lifetime you you know they say home is where the heart is that's what my spirit guides may be referring for you. You may feel like, you know, you work so hard and that you try to people please some of you. You know, you work so hard to the grind and you're not getting that recognition that, that you want. But just know all this abundance, all this balancing energy in your life is turning around. Things are happening really nicely for you, okay? Just trust in yourself, trust in your capabilities, because if you don't trust yourself and trust within your own faith, who's going to do it for you? No one will. I mean, you may have loved ones, yes, but they have their own life to worry about, okay? Don't over fixate and obsess and overthink and overwhelm yourself with how other people think. I know you're very empathic like myself. We tend to think for others. Well, not think, think for others. We take on that, 
burden, that weight. And um, we need to stop learning that. And from time to time, I find myself like, oh, I'm actually carrying that. I should just let them go. They're grown up. They, are, they, they need to find their own way and their independence. And they are perfectly capable on their own. We, we just over worry and over give, okay? And you're not getting paid for it. Just remember that. And you're feeling undervalued and you feel like mis misguided, even misled, or even lied to for some of you. So just know that things are turning around when you choose to decide to speak up your mind. So whether it's in meetings or, I mean, look, this can actually go for um, your, your, your clientele, your customers, like when you put out a service or product that you're selling and offering, raise your prices. Like your standards is actually uh, read by your prices that you actually you know, post it out. So speak with confidence. I mean, this can actually work with your confidence as well, okay? Because, you know, third third chakra, I mean, we, because, you know, words are so limited when it comes to the energetic, spiritual communication. But because we are existing in this third dimensional realm, we need to use words and words are very, it can be subjective, right? It's very limited. And um, just know that you just need to work on it so that you can connect to those people if you're wanting to, you know, um, expand, expand your business or expand or, you know, just find whatever it is that you're wanting to seek in your career here to get the abundance that you need, okay, to lead that life that you are, that you are seeking, okay. So group number three, I hope that was inspiring and inspirational for you to continue on doing it, doing what it is that you do. Just know that you just got to heal that throat chakra and over time you're going to find that voice, okay? You're going to feel like you belong again. All right, guys, up until next time, I hope you enjoy that as much as I did. Mwah. Ciao.